But there's another phrase in here that deserves a little comment, especially because of where we live. He says, mine ears hast thou opened, or pierced, is what it really says. What is he ta he's talking about a, a well-known procedure within that culture the, for a bond slave. If you were a slave paying off a debt, let's assume that you were indentured for seven years to pay off a debt or something, at the end of the seven years, you're free to go. You've done it. You've finished your service. But often in that period of time, you became so devoted to the family that you chose to be adopted as a bond slave, a doulos. And uh, this is what Psalm 46 is alluding to. Mine ears hast thou opened or pierced. It really means digged. Mine ears have been digged, if you will, as referring to this concept by choice. And uh, so if you chose to be a bond slave, they would take you to the doorpost of the house and pierce your ear to the doorpost with a shoemaker, like an awl, like an ice pick, a shoemaker's awl. And, uh, and, uh, and from that point on, you probably wore an earring of pride because you were a slave that was, you volunteered to spend the rest of your days serving that family. And you were proud of that. You were, this was a privilege that you asked for and they granted. And, the sound, and so this is what we call a bond slave. Why is this so important? Because both John and Paul speak of themselves as bond slaves of Jesus Christ, meaning they're dedicated for the rest of their days to serve him. Now, why is this so important to us? Well, first of all, the word all appears only twice in the Bible, and it has to do with this procedure. But it's important to us, Nan and I anyway, is that when we came to Coeur d'Alene, Coeur d'Alene is a, is a French label, as most of you know, the name of the tri tribe of Indians here was named by the French-Canadian trappers because they regarded them as sharp traders. And so they named them the heart of the all. They were sharp traders, was the idea, their concept. Sort of a backhanded compliment. But to us, anybody with a biblical perspective, the heart, the Coeur d'Alene refers to the heart of the bond slave. Heart of the bond slave. And that bar, my hand is up, right? Okay. Okay. So, uh, that's it. we're committed without reservation forever to our master. And this is what's being alluded to in Psalm 40, where my ears have been digged. And Jesus says, for, uh, for I said, I, lo, I come. Jesus Christ is talking here, as you know, from, from that verse. And that's exciting. He's coming. Our master is coming. We're in his service until then. And that's something that uh, we look to with great anticipation.